we shall discuss the topic polynomial definition of polynomial the polynomial is the algebraic expression consisting of variables and coefficients that involves the operations like addition subtraction multiplication and non-negative integers now what is the non-negative integer here we have to see the exponent of each individual term in the algebraic expression the exponent should be a non-negative integer like 0 1 2 3 4 etc it cannot be negative or it cannot be a fraction okay otherwise it will not be a polynomial different types of polynomial if the polynomial consists of one term then it is called monomial if the polynomial consists of two terms then it is called binomial if the polynomial consists of three terms then we say that it is a trinomial but if the polynomial consists of many terms including one term two terms three terms all will be called as polynomial next degree of a polynomial degree of a polynomial is the highest exponent of the variable involved in the polynomial there may be many terms in the polynomial each individual term will contain certain exponents for example in this case in order 3 2 1 are the exponents of each individual term of the, of the polynomial but as 3 is the highest exponent in the polynomial so 3 is the degree of the polynomial similarly in this case 2 is the degree of the polynomial next how we write a polynomial if the variable of the polynomial is x then we write px qx rx like that if the polynomial consists of the variable y then we write py qy etc now values of a polynomial for different values of the variable for example let us take the polynomial px as x square plus 5x plus 6 now we can find different values of the polynomial px by assigning different values of x let us check it So the values that we get for px when we have different values of x this will be called as the value of the polynomial next zero of a polynomial in the above example we have seen that for some values of x the value of the polynomial gets zero here in the example px equal to x square plus 5x plus 6 for x equal to minus 2 and minus 3 the value of px becomes 0 so this minus 2 and minus 3 are the zeros of the polynomial in this example px equal to x plus 2 when we put x equal to minus 2 then px becomes 0 so minus 2 is the 0 of the polynomial again when px equal to x then for x equal to 0 px equal to 0 so 0 is the 0 of the polynomial in this case thus we have seen the word 0 does not stand 0 it may be any number because as by definition for the values of x the value of px becomes 0 those values of x will be called as the zeros of the polynomial next the geometrical meaning of the zeros of a polynomial one thing we remember that all the polynomials or all the algebraic expressions represents a line or a curve a straight line may or may not intersect the x-axis even the curve may or may not intersect the x-axis 
Now the number of points the curve or the line intersects x axis will be the number of zeros of the polynomial. A straight line can at most have one intersecting point that means it can intersect, intersect x axis at, at the most at one point. For a linear polynomial I, I use the term linear polynomial means the, x, the degree of the polynomial is 1 that type of polynomial is called linear polynomial and this type of polynomial for example x plus 2 is a straight line it will intersect x axis at only one point so there are only one zeros for a linear polynomial if the polynomial is quadratic or cubic or any other powers or exponent that will represent a curve and a curve may intersect the x axis at more than one point if the curve intersect x axis at two different points then there will be two zeros if the curve intersect the x axis at three different points then there will be three zeros if the curve intersect the x axis at four different points then there will be four zeros okay like that so that is the geometrical meaning of zeros of a polynomial that the number of intersecting point with the x axis by the curve is the number of zeros of the polynomial one more thing you have to remember at the same time that a line or a curve may not intersect x axis like this you can see here if the line or the curve does not intersect x axis at all then we will say that there are no zeros for this polynomial okay no intersecting x axis means no zeros